General McMaster's blistering account of the Trump White House. CNN. Until now, Lieutenant. H.R. McMaster has held his fire about his stint in the Trump White House. McMaster served with distinction in key American conflicts of the past decades. The Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the Afghan War, but as McMaster recounts in his new book, At War W.I. Th. Ourselves. My tour of duty in the Trump White House, in some ways, his most challenging tour as a soldier was. His last one. Serving as the national security advisor to a notoriously mercurial president. Below are your comments. Replacing a large chunk of bureaucrats with political loyalists is a huge problem. As McMasters points out, their job is to give unvarnished, non-political advice. Their loyalty should be to the country, not whoever happens to occupy the Oval Office. Beyond that, it's undeniable that demanding to see more. And yet there are people out there that plan on voting for him. It is just baffling that anyone would see all these character defects in someone and still think to themselves that he will look out for the average American citizen. Also most voters are a direct reflection of the candidate so that doesn't say much for our country are. Right now. If you were interviewing Donald Trump for a private sector job, and you asked for letters of recommé. Indations as part of the hiring process, you would likely take a hard pass based on that aspect alone. Dot 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 dot. Years ago, watching 45 on The Apprentice, I noticed how susceptible he was to flattery. A person who can't separate personal feelings from their professional duty has no place in a positio. And where their decisions impact millions of others. The books written by McMaster and others only reinforce this view. You have to really think about the people that are the core of MAGA to at least have some understand. Ing of why they still are going to vote for him despite what everyone sees as very dangerous character. Er flaws and shortcomings. MAGA sees these as exactly what they are looking for in their leader to accomplish what they want. You watch enough interviews and you realize they are not like the majority of Americans. People keep trying to understand MAGA in terms of behavior that is at least somewhat similar to the our own, just that they differ on policy from other political groups like the Republicans or the Dem. Ocrats. This is the biggest danger we face as a country. People not realizing that MAGA's goal is to take the entire system taken down and remake it into so. Mething that is not America anymore these people wake up every day at war with the United States and. Specifically the government for grievances real or imagined. The look at Trump. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.